Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. I thought that I would do an update on my what's in my pen case video because I have moved back into one of my Simply Gilded stationary pouches. I love these pouches. I do have a video already on my first one that I got, so I will leave a link to that up here if you guys are curious, but this is a stationary pouch that I got in a Simply Gilded sub box. I believe it was the Luminous Library one, so it actually came with this gorgeous organizer and then also a matching bow. So this little bow charm just hangs off of the zipper that I have here, so I love it. And it's a beautiful kind of faux leather cream colored material and I really love it. It has a beautiful gold bow there, very simple. I like this material because you can easily wipe it. So it's very convenient in that way. And I also really love the interior. So you have a bunch of different compartments in here. Um, I have packed this guy up because it holds all my journaling and planning essentials um, when it comes to kind of like writing utensils, I guess you can say. So I will take you through the configuration of this case and also what I like to keep with me. But I do have a referral link to Simply Gilded, so if you guys want this pouch, then you can find it in her shop and you can use my code to get a little bit of a discount. So with this little pouch, you have a couple of different compartments here. You have this smaller transparent pouch, which is perfect for holding pocket pens. Um, and then you have this pen organizer. So you have one side here and then another side here. And what's great about it is that you can easily pop these out. So if you don't want this, for example, you just want this, then you can do that. Or if you want to take this out as well and then just have it like this, you can also do that. So I really like this pouch because of that. It keeps all your pens um, from rattling around. Um, it's very, very convenient in that way. And then on this side, you do have a few pockets. I love this little heart window. I think it's so cute and it does say Simply Gilded here at the bottom. What's great about this pen case is that it also holds Tombow pens. So a lot of my pen cases are too short, so they don't hold the Tombows, which are typically much more longer than a typical pen. So, so this is a great discovery because it means that I can have my Tombow pens and not have to you know, put them in the pen loops of my planners. Um, I can keep them in here and take them out whenever I need it. So these are the two Tombows that I have in here at the moment. Um, these are the dual tip pens. So you have the brush tip on one end and then you have like a more finer tip on the other. I actually don't really use this fine tip all too much. Um, I just mostly use this end, but I have the color 761 here and then this is 990. So this one's more of like a light beige and this one's a light pink. I also have this iridescent ruler. This is from Simply Gilded from the Iridescent Ink sub box. So I keep that in there. And then in this one, I keep my most used pens. So these are the pens that I use on a daily basis. So the first one that I have here is the Zebra Sarasa Clip. This is in the point five. Um, this is the white body pen. It came with white ink, but I just switched it out to hold black refill in there. So I use that in my memory planner a lot. I have the Hobonichi Techo 2022 pen. This is a multi pen. So it has the black, blue, and red ink. I use this in my Hobonichi weeks. And this is the Uni Jetstream pen. Then I also have here the Pentel Energel Klena. I have the pink one in the 0.5. I use this quite a lot. It's a very nice pen to write with. My handwriting is very neat. Um, the same goes with this one whenever I write with it. This is the Sarasa Dry in the, in the 0.5. Four. So I also have the 0.5 version. I think that these are great pens. The ink dries really fast. They're quite affordable too, so that's great. Um, I will leave a link to all of these pens down below. You can find them on Amazon. Next up in this pocket, I just have a couple of these washi sample cards. These are from Simply Gilded. So um, this one has a beautiful kind of hollow. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's gorgeous. And then this one has a beautiful kind of confetti hollow. So I just keep those in there in case I need them. And then I have a bunch of sticky notes. I think all of these are from Vance Sticky, yeah. So these are all from Vance Sticky. I got them quite a while ago. So I have a grid one, a beautiful one with a rainbow, and then this one's a little bit larger, so I really like it. And you have like the checklist there 
and it says sweet shop which i think is adorable so i keep those in there to use and then I have my tweezers. These ones kind of have like the rainbow iridescent look to it, which I think is really, really nice. I use this to put down my date numbers often for my spreads. And then I have a bunch of these mini Ollie clips. I also really like the large one, but these ones are the small ones. So they come in like a pack of five or three sometimes. So these are really great um, clips if you want to clip your pages together or hold something in place. I use them a lot for that. Okay, so now let's move on to this side of the pouch. This is my favorite part of the pouch, which is the little compartment here. So I keep all my pocket pens in here. So let me take them all out and show them to you. So I have a few of my Kaweco pens. Um, this one right here is the Kaweco Sport Ballpoint Pen. So this is in the mint colorway. Um, you can buy refills of this on Amazon. I really like it. I think it's just so dainty and cute, perfect for a pocket planner. So I have that in there. And then I have a couple of um, my fountain pens for Kaweco. I actually have another one, the new one. It's the Iridescent Pearl, the new limited edition for this year. Um, I ordered that. So um, I think that's releasing next week or something like that. So I'm super excited for that to come in. I pre-ordered it. But this is another one of the pens that I have. This is the Macchiato color. And I have the Ferris Wheel Press ink, the Lady Rose. So it's a beautiful kind of shimmery ink in here. And I have this one in the fine. And then this was last year's limited edition Kaweco pen. So this one actually says Kaweco collection, whereas the other ones say Kaweco sport. Um, and then this one is in a medium nib. And then I do have the Kaweco smoky gray ink in here, which I love. Just a great neutral. And I think that these pens look so gorgeous together. And then the other pocket pens I have are these ones. These are the Zig Kokoro pens. I love these pens. These are what I use to letter in my Hobonichi. So I have the two pink colors here. These are the two lightest pinks. One is strawberry and one is Sakura. And I just have them with the black ink. So these are my pocket pens that I use quite often. And then I do also have this mini ruler. This is a gold ruler. So it has the inches and centimeters on there. And I use this to cut washi as well because it's metal. So it's really, really sturdy. I got this from Harriet Wright Designs. And then the other thing I have in this little pocket is just this little bookmark here. This is from Simply Gilded from one of her boxes. And the idea behind it is that you would put your pages in here and you can act as a little bookmark. So that's really cute. I can use it for my fiction books or when I'm researching books um, or I can use it in my planners or journals. So I keep that handy in there in case I need it. But I love this little transparent pocket. I think it's just so cute that I can see everything at a glance and I just love the way my pocket pens fit in there. So in the back compartment here, I do have this filled with a lot of my most used pens. I have several of the mild liners here in my most favorite colors. So I'm sure you guys know about the mild liners. They are dual tip highlighters. You have the pointed tip on one end and then the chisel tip on the other. I use these guys every single day. They are so functional and I have been using these particular ones for several years and they don't seem to dry out. Whereas I feel like my Tombows dry out so much quicker, but these ones last really long. So I love that. And then I have a couple of my pen gem pens. This one right here is Baby Cakes in the Gold. So it's just a classic pink. And then I think this one is called Light Dance. It has the black hardware on it. It has some beautiful multicolored gems in the barrel. And also the gem on top is an iridescent one. And then the barrel has this beautiful kind of rainbow foiling to it. It kind of reminds me of my tweezers as well. So I really like how that kind of matches. But I do have a referral link. So I'll leave my link down below. And then I have my favorite gel pens. These are from Simply Gilded. This one came in the Luminous Library box. So the same box that this pen case came in and then this is from the stay golden one so these are like matte colors um, in gray and then a light kind of lilac pink and then it has a little bow there these are black gel ink pens i use them a lot in my memory plan with me's and I just love them. They're so amazing. They look amazing and they write really well as well. And then on the back here, 
Um, I have some more pens. So this is a Kiki K mechanical pencil. So this takes 0.7 lead. I just love how it looks. It's so classy and pretty. So I use that whenever I need to use a pencil. And then I have a couple of the Pentel sign pens. So I have the light pink here and then also the light blue. And these are just really fine brush pens that I use in my Hobonichi A6. I also have these really fun Sakura jelly rolls and these are in the metallic finish. So it has like a sparkle to them. Um, I have hauled these before, they come in a large pack and they do have different finishes. They have like a bright one, a neon one, but my favorites are the metallics. I like to kind of embellish my pages with these kind of metallic gel pens. They are really, really great for adding a little bit of sparkle to your spread, so I love those. I have a couple of those in here, and then my other pen that I have in here are my Zebra Sarasa Clips. These are in the Vintage Collection. So I have all of the colors. These are just the two that I use the most, so the dark green and then this lovely like yellow ochre color is really beautiful too and these write beautifully so i have a couple of those in there and then at the very back here is just kind of like an open space so i have just dumped a few things that i need so i just have my hobonichi stencil this is the green one um, i use this as a ruler sometimes as well and i use the checklist often for my hobonichi i also have a pair of these kiki k vintage rose scissors these are so beautiful um, so i use this just whenever i need to cut stickers or paper down and then i have a set of these translucent sticky notes these are from rose color days i have a referral link to rose color days so i will leave them down below but i love these these are her collab with annie plans i have them in the silver hollow here this is like the luxe collab and then I love it because it has like the tab here so you can stick it out of your planner and have it out which is very convenient so I have the purple one here and this is like the larger size it's a good size I also have these paper tabs if I want to mark a page in my planner or journal um, I use these these are from Kiki K I love the colors and then I also have these sticky note tabs these are from Simply Gilded again this came in the natural beauty box and I love all the colors the floral one and the leopard print one are like so cute and then the last thing I have in here is this little pen sleeve this came in a simply gilded box the hummingbird story one and i just keep this in here in case i don't want to bring all of this and i just need a couple of pens so for example if i only need just these two pens with me then i will just put them in here and then take this with me instead of carrying this whole thing because this is quite big and bulky sometimes so if i just need only a few i just bring that with me instead but I just keep all of that here, just at the bottom. These are all like quite flat items so they don't bulk it up. But yeah, that is everything that I keep in my little pouch. I just love this pouch. It's just so functional and I love to keep this kind of open beside me with my planner whenever I'm planning or journaling. So it's definitely one of my must have stationary items in my collection. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. I will try to link everything that I have in here down below for you guys. So if you guys are interested, you can use those links to find it. Let me know what you guys are using as your little pen pouch and what are your essentials for planning or journaling. I would love to know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!